You hear that? You hear the spooky music? <clears throat> Today, we're gonna play Vampire Panic. An untranslated game from Japan, but now translated by the fans. So, let's uh, see uh, what, what this game's all about, shall we? All right. No hard mode. What a shame. Normal game is the game's standard mode. In this mode, you will unlock new features. Balance difficulty. Start in normal mode? Yes. These games confuse me sometimes because the circle is the confirm. I'm used to the X being the confirm, but whatever. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? This shit is, uh... Is that Alucard? Is he okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Am I getting shot at or is or am I Alucard? What's going on here? <clears throat> Eighteen oh six. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom with a vampire sealed. Suddenly, there was news that the seal was broken. Now the vampires are a village. It's going too fucking fast. Those who are bitten by vampires will be transformed and will be their dark servants. Two exorcists are sent to this village and hope to regain the humanity of the townspeople. These individual people are the group of names I'm talking about. Fuck. Ha. Oh, ha. Oh. I can't do this. My reading isn't that good. Uh, uh. Holy shit. I'm exhausted already. I hope this game is worth it. A few days later. Castle Town Incel. <laughs> incel. Uh. I told you already, damn it. I'm very tired from a trip. I beg you. Jeez. Do I look suspicious to you? Tell me. Let me pass. Shut up. I don't care who you are. I've said 100 times already. Nobody will get past here. I'll give you free advice. Leave this town before it gets dark, or you'll be sorry. Mary, so you are here. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Rusty! This gorilla says I can't get past here. I'm so tired. Maybe we can slip through. I wonder if these translations are accurate to what they were saying. Cause it's kind of funny that she called him a gorilla. Just a that's just a weird insult to choose. <laughs> and I told her already. No. Even if you are transformed. Transformed. What's with the sky standing behind them like this? What is this, a mobster? Santino. Yeah, so noisy. <laughs> how do you do like an Italian mobster voice? I don't, I don't know how to do that shit. S -s -s Santino! What a troublesome, guys. I'm getting real pissed off. Hmm? What is that crest? So you're... Yes, I'm from Insla. <laughs> I don't even know what voices I'm doing for these people anymore. Just whatever. I'm gonna stop doing this shit. Let's just get through this already. Thank you, Santino. Yes. Oh, that's Mary. Yes, we need to meet Jin after sunset. Well, oh, the letter? <laughs> yes. He said he was going to wait for us in a hut to at the outskirts of town after sunset. Hope we can find him there. 
Since we have some spare time, let's investigate around town, asking what's going on to the townspeople. Come on. <laughs> let's ask this weird old man just standing, <laughs> staring into blank space. Look at the cat. Oh, what's up? That crest is Isla. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what? <laughs> Rusty's so sassy, man. This film grain effect is strange. I think, I think I've seen a similar effect with, um... One of the Wild Arms games on PS2. My gosh, all this dialogue. Let's kill vampires already. Please. Where's the vampires? In this weird foggy, like, render distance thing. Whoa. How do you... How do you swing? Does he not have a weapon? Can I not pet the cat? Oh! They're running away from me! What the fuck? Bro. No one likes Rusty. Okay, that's the, that's the Dark Souls roll. <laughs> We're from a corporation <laughs> named Isla. <laughs> Are you the lord of this town? Really? She's the lord? They had women's rights back then? Ah, uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> How was your guys' day? Was your day eventful? Did you fuck bitches and get money? Or did you study for something? College? Or if you're a fucking twerp, high school? Or if you're a fucking preschooler watching my videos? You're studying uh, Legos. That's a disgusting baby cry. <laughs> What'd you get scared from? <sighs> Look, I don't mind story, but I chose this game in hopes that there wouldn't be that much dialogue, but holy shit. Look at that. I guess we look for the Lord, I, I, I suppose. <gasps> Boxes! Can we roll into them like Dark Souls? Proceed. We cannot. Alright. Dark Souls 1. Vampire Panic 0. Phases. Can we roll into these? <laughs> Dark Souls 2. Vampire Panic Zero. So guys, let's talk about Sonic games. Are you excited for Sonic Frontiers? I know I'm not. Well, I'll be lying. I'm, I'm, I'm a little excited, alright? But... I don't know if the game will be good or not. They've been flopping for years. <laughs> Welcome to Incel. <laughs> Wanda's husband is drunk. <laughs> Poor Wanda. I don't know why that was funny. But like, in particular Wanda, her name and her husband being drunk. This is funny. I don't know why.
Maybe you'll feel the same way, but... <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, two old people! They look rich! Oh, another couple squabble. These models kind of remind me of Sonic Adventure. Just a little bit, like more detailed, but like the way they like idle pose and stuff. It's uh, <laughs> strange. So this is the town of Incel. I mean, he doesn't look like an incel to me. He looks like he gets mad bitches. Oh, their son has ran away from home. Oh, okay. I'm hearing all kind of noises. All right, we'll get your son. Ignacio? Ignacio? He's a bit weird for a boy. <laughs> All right, he's not a bad kid. We're good. Thank God. Thank God your son's not a furry. He plays VR chat. And likes Sonic. Asshole named Inselberg. Holy shit. Inselberg? Where the fucking... The greatest incels reside. It's Wanda's husband! Bruh, is that a patch of hair on his bald ass head on the front of his cranium? What kind of fucking hairdo is that, my guy? No wonder you drink. If I had a hairdo like that, I'd be drinking too. I'm a useless old man. Bro, you're not useless, but you need to shave that shit off, my guy. <laughs> Bro, we got an emo old man. Dude, what the fuck is this game? I thought I was gonna kill vampires, man. Dude, Thomas, get the fuck out of here. Carl's busy. Sobbing over his one patch of hair on his head. What? Leave you alone? We were here first! Fuck you, Thomas! Fuck you, Thomas. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, Carl. You're struggling, man feel that though all right can't go that way you're Sophia nah picks show picks bro I look at her every day <laughs> Sophia, you are my goddess. I will kill anybody who gets between us. I'll charge them. How? Easy. Press R2 and X buttons. <laughs> Bro. Holy shit. So that's how you kill them. Oh, Sophia. Always roll from violent people. Don't get yourself into a mess. How you do it? X button lightly. <laughs> but of course, Sophia will never get herself in a mess.
ist Sophia. I want to ask you, why do you have three men outside your house glorifying your beauty and your existence? What? Sophia just gave me a 50 star out of 100? Fuck you. Rusty's way more beautiful than that. He might be a bitch, but it might sound weird. But he's more than a 50. Come on. Of course that I want a big smile. If you don't smile, then I give you a zero. <laughs> Bruh. And these motherfuckers, they get a higher score than me, huh? These three fat bastards? What do you what do you think of you and me having a good time, eh? Star? <laughs> Bro, fuck you, Sophia. You don't deserve me. B Love doll. What the Bro, you just gave me a zero. It must be her way of flirting. Bro, where are the fucking vampires?